Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing an honest review and first impressions of the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette and as soon as this came out a lot of you guys asked if I would do one of my kind of worth the hype videos on this because um, although I mostly do drugstore stuff on my channel a lot of you guys I think like to see my opinions on like higher end products that are like super hyped about because I'm not afraid to kind of speak my honest opinion on YouTube um, so that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video um, I'm going to be talking about this palette, swatch it, um, you know, giving you my review and first impressions, so I hope you guys enjoy. And also if you're wondering, I got this on the Anastasia UK website, they do have an official UK website now, um, I will link it down below. You can also now get this on Beauty Bay in the UK, which is pretty cool as well, um, so yeah, I will leave the links down below where you can get it in the US, UK, Europe, all of that jazz, um, so yeah. Let's get into the video. Okay, so for starters, just a little bit about my actual order. I ordered it from the official Anastasia Beverly Hills UK website. It was a pain in the ass to get hold of. I mean, obviously they had such high demand because everyone was trying to get it at the same time. Um, but the website was literally down. Like, it just, I would click on something, website would go down. I would add it to my basket, website would go down. I would get to checkout, website would go down. Like, I had to add it to my basket four times. And on the fourth time, I managed to check out. But basically what happened is, on the third time that I checked out, I pressed, like, I entered all my details and stuff, I pressed check out, and then it, like, the website went down, and then it said error, like, an error has occurred, and so I was like, oh, I didn't get it, so I did it all over again, um, and then I got it that time, but then I checked my emails, and I'd actually ordered it twice, so I do have another one, which I'm going to be putting in my 400,000 subscriber giveaway, if I get there sometime soon. So that was a bit silly of me, but yeah, obviously with such high demand, the website is not going to be great, but it was literally, like, going down the whole time. So it took me about, like, 45 minutes to actually order the palette, but this is what it looks like, it took a week to arrive I think um, I ordered it on the day that it came out and it arrived like two days ago I do quite like the color actually I prefer the color of this one to the modern renaissance because um, the modern renaissance one gets dirty really easily um, it is really pretty it's a nice kind of like pinky lilac sort of color but I'm so much more of like an autumn girl um, and I just I really like this sort of like dark teal colour I think is what it is. And just before I start this review, um, this is one of my favourite palettes of all time. I think it is absolutely incredible. Um, I love the colour selection of this and the formula is the best formula that I've ever tried of any eyeshadows. You guys know that if you've seen me use this in videos before. Um, I am mostly a drugstore girl, like I love my drugstore makeup, but this palette is everything like the pigmentation and everything is just mind-blowing so I love this so much so I have pretty high hopes for this but at the same time I have seen some shocking reviews so I don't know we'll see what happens I do also have a drugstore dupe to show you in this video so stay tuned for that um, so this is what the palette looks like when you open it up um, it comes with the brush I think this is the same brush that comes in the modern renaissance it's a really good brush actually so it has the fluffy blender on one side and then it's got like a flat shader on the other side this is the color selection a lot of people said that they didn't like it and they thought the colors are really weird I personally love this color selection I think it is gorgeous I think there's so many pretty kind of like autumnal shades in there so I think I'm gonna do some swatches on my arm so first off the shade cube is really um, not very pigmented, but I did see um, Norvina was kind of talking about how it looks white in the pan But it's actually like a duochrome pinky shade. It's very similar to pink heart from Moonchild um, Highlighter palette to be fair, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna swatch them all on my arms. They are so pigmented like Insanely pigmented normally with matte colors. You can't get them to like show up on your arm very well But this is just like on another level. Yeah, you literally like barely even have to put your finger in the palette Just one thing that I've oh, it's fallen out Just one thing that I have just noticed is this shade here called axis even just rubbing my finger in it the powder is like going everywhere and that is the one thing that I have seen a lot of people saying is that the shades are very powdery but obviously I haven't tested it on my eyes yet, so I'm not going to judge until I have, but that's just like my first impression. Okay, so I'm really sorry about my bracelet that's like right on the end. I can't remove it, but um, it kind of got in the way a bit. So these are all of the colours. As you can see, they are so incredibly pigmented. This is just putting my finger in like once and then doing like one swipe on my arm. A couple of the matte shades I did go like one, two, but most of them is just like one swipe. So as you can see, this shade is probably the least pigmented, like it's quite hard to see. But then this shade here, which is um, another shimmery shade, that one was insanely pigmented. And then this green shimmer also isn't that pigmented, but I think it's because they're supposed to be kind of like duochrome-y. First impressions, they are all like 
pretty amazing to be honest. So on my eyes I've literally just done what I always do which is I put concealer and then I powder over the top of it. I don't use any sort of like fancy eye primers because I find that, that this is like what works best for me. I'm gonna like clean my brush off on this little like piece of foam in a tin that I got on Amazon that was extremely expensive for what it actually is. I think this cost me like £10 and it's literally like a sponge in a tin but that's okay, it does the job. Okay so I'm starting with the shade Dawn and yeah I, I have no idea what I'm doing yet, I'm literally just gonna make this up as I go along. If you are new to my channel, I'm not a makeup artist, I am literally just somebody that loves makeup and I've been practicing my makeup for a while but yeah I'm by no means a professional. Damn, that is actually, in the pan it looks really light, but on my eyes it's really pigmented. So yeah, so far, have got quite a lot of fallout <laughs> that is coming out of it, um, but it's nothing absolutely diabolical yet. It looked like it was going to be a cream shade that would be good for all over your lid, but on me, it's pretty dark. You really don't need to dip in much at all, you literally just need to go boop and then you get like a ton of pigment on your brush. So, I'm then gonna go in the, with the shade Edge, which is a yellow. And again, I've literally just dabbed my brush in there once. And I'm also gonna run this through my crease. Oh man, I can't remember her second name. I know she's called Alyssa. I saw her review on this and um, it made me kind of scared to use these colors just cause she didn't have a particularly good experience. I didn't want to watch too many reviews before I did my own because I didn't want to get like influenced but in all honesty I could not help watching her video because it was like everywhere on Twitter. <laughs> I feel like when I put it on it was really vibrant and now it's kind of oxidised? So far I mean it's not blending too badly. I feel like a lot of people said that it blends like horrendously badly but I've definitely had eyeshadows like that have blended worse than this but I do have to say I feel like the modern renaissance definitely blends a lot nicer. And then taking New Wave which is the kind of orangey yellow colour. Again there is some fallout in there but nothing like catastrophic. I get fallout with pretty much all of my eyeshadow palettes so you know. Right, so I'm just gonna put this, yeah I, I still don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna put that like over half my eyelid and like blend it up into my crease I guess. After I put on all the shades I am then just going in with a clean fluffy brush and like trying to blend it out. Okay, so so far it's not too bad. I'm just gonna dip into Roxy which is like the orange one. Wow, okay, that one had a lot of fallout, do you see that? I feel like, yeah, with these eyeshadows, if you don't want to get the amount of fallout that I'm getting, you need to use a very, very small amount. Like, dip it in very lightly. Like, one dip is all you need. You don't need to sit there and go, like, tap, 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 you know? I know it might seem a bit silly, but I think I am going to go over my lid with the khaki green shade just because I've tested these kind of warm shades. I do quite like them. Um, they're not my favourite eyeshadows in the world, but I think they look okay so far. So I'm going to take the shade Destiny, which is the kind of khaki green one. You guys know that I do love a good khaki green. And I'm going to get some of this on a flat brush. Like this is, oh, so pigmented. And I'm just going to pack this shade like all over my lid. Oh my god, look at that. Wow, I did like one dip and it covered my whole eyelid, that is insane. My, oh, I so nearly just knocked it on the floor, jeez, I need to stop being so clumsy. Okay, so now that I've just placed that on my lids, I'm going to blend it out with my fluffy... is the most bizarre thing. Wait, let me do, let me give you guys a close up of this. Okay, so, I tried to blend it out like into my crease, and I'm not sure if you can see, but it just kind of knocked off a bunch of pigment from this area, but it's left like, oh my goodness, it has left like a line. Okay, can you guys see this here? I tried to put it, put it all over my lid, and then I tried to blend it up into my crease, but as I was blending, it's knocked off a bunch of pigment from this area of my eye, like do you see here? And then it's left like a line just like there, like do you see that? I really hope you can see what I mean. And it's done the same on the other side as well, like... 
what? That is exactly what I've seen other people say. That is so crazy. I've never had this experience before, like with an eyeshadow. And I'm 100% not trying to bash Anastasia, like the brand, because I love the Modern Renaissance palette and I really like the other colors, but that green color did not work well on my eyes. I've also just completely forgotten that I, I didn't use this brush. Good job, Soph. I'm gonna use this from now on. So I'm taking that same khaki color and I'm gonna go in with the flat side. And I'm just gonna try and like build that up again and then blend. I'm really confused. Okay, so no matter how much I'm blending, it's not, it's just not blending. Like, I feel like it's stuck to my eye. I really did not want this to happen. I wanted this to be a positive review because sometimes people overhype about things that are wrong with a palette, but damn, I'm getting the same problem. Like, do you see this line? Do you see that? I'm literally like blending as much as I can and it's just all sitting in my crease and then it's disappeared off my lid. Like, do you see this? Do you see that? Right, I'm then gonna go in with the shade called Untamed and I'm gonna try and put this on the outer corners um, just in the hopes that this one won't do the same thing, you know? They are extremely pigmented, like I'll give them that. I just wanna blend it into my grease, like I want to blend it higher, do you guys see what I mean? Like I want to blend it into the colour above but I feel like at my crease it's just kind of like stopping and it won't blend any further. I have a brush hair on my eye. I mean obviously it could still be my makeup skills but um, because obviously like I said I'm not a professional and um, yeah I haven't been trained in makeup or whatever but I personally like I just haven't ex really experienced this with a high end eyeshadow palette before and with the lighter colours in this palette I didn't have any issues like the more kind of warm toned ones um, they were absolutely fine but it's just the kind of like darker more greeny ones that I've experienced this with so far um, and I know that darker shades can sometimes be like harder to formulate especially if they're matte um, but yeah, I, I am trying my best to make this work. You can see it more on this side, I think. But like, wait, let me take my blending brush. No matter how hard I blend this, it's just like, it won't blend. Okay, so I'm now just gonna take a bit of the shade All Star, just cause it's a really pretty burgundy color. And I do want to try this. I know this look is gonna be like a mess, but I just want to try and put a bit of this on the outer half of my eyelid. Okay, I'm gonna stop layering colors because I feel like the more I do this, the worse it's getting. I'm then just gonna take uh, some of the shade New Wave onto my lower lash line. You see, I really love the warm shades in here. Like, the uh, this orange color is gorgeous. And then I'm just going to take the shade All Star again, which is the burgundy. And I'm just gonna run this one along my lower lash line. Whoa, that is so pigmented, what the heck. Shout out to my former emo days. Did not mean to go that heavy. Shit, now it's not blending. How to turn yourself into a raccoon with Soph. I'm gonna take some of the shade called Cube, which is the kind of pinky white one. And I'm just gonna use that on my brow bone. Okay, I'm then taking the shade Electric, which is this one right here, the kind of green, on my center of my eyelid. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that shade. This green shade is so unique and pretty. It's not as pigmented as the shade called Adorn, but like it's very buildable and like very like, I don't know, cool. That is actually gorgeous. I feel like the reason it's starting to look a bit better is because this green shade called Electric has like covered that line that I've got going on on my crease. So annoying, like if the other shades had been as like blendable, as the Modern Renaissance, then this palette would be stunning just because I love the colors in it and like, it's so autumnal and like so different. Like I just love this green shade, it's so cool. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use the shade Adorn, which is the um, the golden-y sort of one. I'm just gonna run that. Yeah, this shade is sick. I've literally dipped my brush in it the tiniest amount and it's like showing off on my under eyes, I've literally just put that on like the inner part of my lower lash line. I have seen other people experience this exact same problem, um, which is a shame, it's a shame. But to be honest, I feel like the overall look, like, it doesn't look too bad. It still looks pretty, pretty badass, if I do say so myself. So there we go. I think I'm now gonna do some eyeliner and throw on some eyelashes. So I'm using my NYX Epic Ink Liner. Oh! Wait, what the hell? Why is it suddenly leaking on me? Why is my eyeliner now leaking on me? Like, is this a bad day? Or like, mm, somebody against me today? Cause uh, this is not going to plan. Oh my God, it's bleeding everywhere. Is this the makeup god's trying to get back at me? Cause I said I didn't like the palette. Like, 
Okay, so my lashes are on. Please excuse my eyeliner. Like, it just started running and like leaking and it's bled like everywhere. I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in Latte To Go. The shade is a bit more patchy. Okay, so I actually love this lip color so much. It was just a bit patchy to apply, but now that it's like dried, I love it. Okay, so overall, my thoughts on this palette. Do I like it? Yes. Do I love it? No. I was not happy with the fact that like the darker colors just wouldn't blend that nicely. I mean, overall, like I feel like the overall look looks really pretty. Um, like when I've got my eyeliner done, when I've got my lashes on and everything, you wouldn't really notice that anything was wrong. Like, you know, just looking at it like this. But the fact that when I was like putting everything on, like uh, it just wasn't blending nicely. And I honestly think that this green color in the middle kind of saved everything because it covered that kind of like line that I was getting in my crease. Oh, uh, I just don't know. Like I feel so bad just because I love the Modern Renaissance palette and I, I respect Norvina and like Anastasia so much. I think their brand is great. Um, I think that they make some amazing quality stuff, but this subculture palette is not like what I was expecting it to be and for the price that I paid which was like 42 pounds I was a little bit disappointed to be honest okay so moving on to the kind of dupes part of this video um as you guys know I'm a massive massive fan of drugstore makeup and um, I do a lot of drugstore videos on my channel and I saw going around on Twitter there was a picture picture circulating of um a potential dupe for the subculture palette and it was the NYX perfect filter palette in olive U, um or like all of you, like I love you, haha, uh -huh, funny pun. Um, and <laughs> this is what this one looks like. It's 16 pounds, I think. Um, and these are the colors. So as you can see, there's a few kind of similar colors in there. Obviously in this one, I think you only get 12 colors. Um, no, actually you get 10 different shades. Whereas in the subculture palette, you get 14 shades, I believe. So when I saw the picture online on Twitter, the colors did look pretty similar. However, when you hold the colors up in person, you notice that um, they aren't quite the same, like some of the colors. And then another palette that I saw people comparing it to was the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. Um, and to be fair, they do actually have some similar similar kind of like looking shades. I really like the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. Like, can we just laugh at the pan size difference? like that is insane um but yeah there's the khakis you've got the kind of burgundy color the dark purple you have the kind of same teal color a very very similar orangey blending sort of color a similar crease color there are quite a few similar shades to the jeffree star androgyny palette i do have a whole video review on this as well but i'm just going to do some swatches for you guys of the nyx one um versus the anastasia one um, so this is the yellow colour that everyone, I think, thought was going to be similar to the Anastasia one. It's really not. This one is a yellow shimmer, and this one is obviously a yellow matte colour, and they're completely different shades of yellow. Um, and then for the purpley colour, actually this is a matte shade in the NYX palette, I didn't realise. I'm going to compare this to All Star, which is the shade that I used, and I'm also going to compare it to the shade called Rowdy. So this is the NYX one, this is All Star, and this is Rowdy. Okay, so this one here, the first one is the NYX colour, the second one along is All Star, and this one is Rowdy. So as you can see, Rowdy is a lot darker. And then comparing the kind of khaki colours, in the NYX palette it is this one down here. And then I'm going to compare that to Destiny from the ABH palette, which is this one. And then I'm also going to compare it to Untamed, which is the more kind of like teal color. Okay, so the first one is the NYX one that I'm going to swatch. Ooh, that's nice. And then next to it is the ABH Destiny. And then next to that is Untamed. So that is the NYX one. Then that is Destiny. And then this one is Untamed. It's kind of like a mixture between the two of them. Okay, and then moving along, there's a shimmery blue in the NYX palette, which isn't really a dupe of anything. I'm just gonna compare this shade here to the color called Dawn, which is the transition shade that I used first. So the, this is the NYX one, it's a lot lighter, you can't really see, and then that one is Dawn, so the Anastasia one is um, more of a transition shade. The NYX one is more of like a creamy, all over the lid kind of color. I'm then gonna compare the bronzy sort of shimmer shade here to a Dawn, which is the Anastasia one. These look pretty similar actually. But yeah, the difference is actually that um, this one here is the NYX one, this is the Anastasia one. Quite a bit darker, you can see there. I feel like they would give a similar effect on the eyes. I'm then going to compare this shade, which is the one in the middle, to the shade called Fudge. I know that Fudge is going to be a lot darker just by looking at them, but you have a kind of like warm brown shade there. This is the NYX, this is the Anastasia. And then finally we have a shimmery light green and then a 
another shimmery kind of khaki color. So this palette obviously doesn't have everything, it's not an exact dupe by any means, but it does have a few kind of like similar colors. So if you want to get something that's kind of like a grungy, greeny, kind of purpley look, with the same sort of like warm shimmer colour, um, also something that you can kind of highlight your eyelids with. Um, this does have a good selection of colours which are similar, but they are by no means the same, but yeah. I just thought I would test out the little dupe that I saw going around on Twitter. So I will link all of the products that I mentioned in the description box down below. So that is it for this video, I hope you guys have found it helpful, um, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Um, I would also love it if you would subscribe, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I say this after every video, but we're getting really, really close to 400,000 subscribers. Do you guys think I should still give it away or should I just sell it? Like, I could obviously sell it on Depop or eBay or something and like sell it on, or I could give it away to one of you guys. Like. Do you guys still want me to give it away or should I just sell it? Like, I don't know, because obviously I didn't give it the best review. Um, I don't know. Do you want me to give it away or do you want me to get something else? Up to you. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys are all having a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.